love the channel and find it useful in becoming a happy retiree. Subscribe today. Robert joins us on the line from Loganville. Robert, what's going on? How can I help? Hey, good morning, Wes. Thanks for taking my call. My pleasure. I have a question um, related to the stable part of my retirement portfolio, which is right now 25%. 11% of that's in cash, 11% CD. 3% is in Vanguard ETF B and D. And I want to reallocate the cash. Am I better off going with the, the short-term CD route? Um, okay, so 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 let me let me ask you this: You have eleven uh, percent right now in cash that, that needs to that you'd like to do something with, right? Correct, correct. And this is all within Vanguard, or is this somewhere else, and you're just using Vanguard ETFs? It's all within Fidelity. Oh, it's in Fidelity. Okay, gotcha. Yep. You know, I would look at rather than buying something like BND right now, which again, I, that's full disclosure. I own some of that and, and I, it's a, it's a very safe, stable place to access a, a variety of bonds. It basically tracks the total bond market index, which is about 80% on average government oriented uh, bonds. So there's a lot of safety there. Very, very, very little, very little default risk. And then they have some corporate bonds in there too. That's why the yield is a little bit higher than Treasury. So today, if I look at BND, I see my yield today. Let's look at it as we speak. It looks like the yield is about the yield is about two and a half percent, give or take. That's a twelve month yield. It says the SEC yield is at two point nine. Here's here's what you got to look at though, Robert. I'm glad you talked about the or you called and asked about this because it brings up a really important point. The duration, the average maturity on the bonds inside of BND is is eight, about eight and a half years, mm -hmm. and it gives it a duration of about six, a little over six. So that means that if interest rates go up one percent from here, and because bond prices and interest rates move in an inverse relationship, you you would see a drop in price for BND of yeah. about six percent, right? Yeah. I think right now the the opportunities. And I was just talking to this on the last caller. You may want to camp out in these shorter term treasuries instead, and versus getting into as rates continue to climb. If you were just to buy a one year treasury, you're gonna you, you really guarantee yourself two percent, and there's no guarantees in the world anyway. But that's a really safe way to get about two percent. And next year it'll it'll mature, and if interest rates are higher, then you can reinvest that same amount of money in something like BND as rates start to stabilize. I want to see rates kind of stabilize okay. at a new level before I go jump in and buy a whole bunch of new bond ETFs. And that that would be that's my advice to you is that be careful about jumping headfirst into more bond ETFs. I own them and I still like them, but the way rates are going now and the fact that you can get over 2% in one year for goodness sakes, a one year treasury. You can get two and a quarter if you got two years. That to me is a is a good place to camp out as rates normalize. Hi, I'm Wes Moss, and thanks for taking a minute to hear about what's so different about my new book, You Can Retire Sooner Than You Think. So unlike other retirement books, this book will give you a step-by-step -step guide, whether you're in your 20s or 30s or 40s or 50s, to learn from what these successful and happy retirees did to get there. I hope you enjoy the book, but more importantly, I know that it'll help you retire sooner than you think.